Right, hi there. So, I had an email today about Amazon's um, £99 MIG welder, whether I would do a comparison weld video between the Amazon £99 MIG welder and the Sealy Mighty MIG 100. I'll put a link to in the description to the Amazon £99 MIG welder, just in case anybody's interested. So, the Sealy Mighty MIG is a flux core only machine and the Display 4 Top MIG 130 3-in-1 uh, machine from Amazon is a DC inverter machine which will do obviously MIG welding so you can do stainless, aluminium, mild steel um, and you can also do stick welding on it as well and it's a really tiny little machine and it seems to be doing really well All right, I did do an in-depth video of this testing all the functions on it so there will be a link up here now so uh, yeah let's just take a look at the difference between the uh, welding obviously this is an AC machine and this is a DC machine so yeah let's get to it and do some welding
Okay, so we've got Amazon's MIG welder on this side, and then we've got the CD Mighty MIG on this side. So here's just a couple of beads that I run. They're both flux core wire. As you can see on the AC, the beads are still quite nice and smooth, um, but you've got a lot of spatter, which is hard to get off even with a wire wheel. Uh, with the DC you'll still get a slight amount of spatter but it, it generally it will come off of a wire wheel, it doesn't stick as hard. And then also the AC, the arc on it is a lot harder to kind of control and be able to see the puddle of uh, molten metal. And also the flux core wire welder, the feed isn't quite as consistent as the Amazon's mid welder. So as you can see it's nice smooth bleeds in there, not too much spatter at all, tiny little amount, a lot less than it's with the um, CD flux core wire welder. The Amazon 99 pound MIG welder definitely does a nicer job and I expect a professional could do a heck of a lot better than I can so and then this was just I, I laid a load of beads down on this piece of uh, metal here just to test to see if the uh, Amazon MIG welder would cut out but uh, I went way past its uh, duty cycle and it still kept going and it didn't even get warm so um, the current temperature is 8 degrees, so you know. Yeah, I had it on full blast during this, so 140 amps. Got the CD Mighty MIG, which costs more than the DC inverter MIG welder. And the CD Mighty MIG, remember, is not a MIG welder, it's a flux core wire welder only. Now, as you can see same here that there's all this spatter here. The welder's reasonably smooth but you do get a lot of spatter so it's a lot clean up is a lot easier on the Amazon DC inverter machine than it is on the CD Mighty MIG 100. I mean obviously because the CD Mighty MIG 100 is a transformer based machine it's probably going to last longer I mean I've had that machine for I think it's eight or nine years now um, with the obviously with um, inverter based welders uh, they don't generally last as long but you do get better quality welds with them and uh, the Amazon welder does feed the wire a lot smoother than the CD Mighty MIG so yep, yeah, I mean that's about all I can say really, you know, I do like the uh, Amazon um, MIG welder, it's a real nice machine, plus you can do, you know, you can do stick welding with it as well, and you can also, you know, you do stainless steel, aluminium, mild steel, so I think the Amazon one represents better value for money, and it's cheaper than the CD Mighty MIG 100. My opinion, I would go with the Amazon uh, MIG welder. Okay, so I just want to say thanks to uh, Martin for emailing me and asking me about that. Um, if anybody else has got any questions about it, I will try to answer them in a video or in the comments down below. Um, I've still got this machine at the moment. My friend still hasn't picked it up, so mind you, after me doing all this with it, he might not actually want it. But anyway... Um, yeah, so link will be down in the description to it. If anybody's interested, uh, go take a look. It'll be in the description and in the comments section down below. So I'd just like to say thanks for watching. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. And please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and comment down below, please. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye.